Everybody and welcome to the Super Metroid Item Randomizer League Season 1. Uh, sorry for the delays here, uh, I just tuned in. Uh, looks like we're having uh, Tillamore versus MST today, and our first item found is Morph Ball. Uh, hopefully we're going to find ourselves with a trolley seed today. Um, I am in the mood to see some people being punished. Uh, how is everyone else today? ceiling e-tank as well and vanilla missiles uh we do have early power bombs though so that will help bust this seed wide open getting a billy maze check from mst given that you have power bombs there's really not a better time to check this you could wind up with early supers or more power bombs uh, or alternatively, it could just be missiles and missiles. But we do get some supers for MST, so that is good to see. Tillamorph also making the play on Billy Maze. Interesting. not even checking the intended uh, original missile location. Uh, going to skip out on picking up the missile pack that lies down there. Not a bad thing, honestly. Uh, it's a bit of a gamble this early on, but he's not going to be locked behind any doors, so I could understand putting minor locations on the back burner in the short term. Supers underneath Old Mother Brain Tank. Very nice thing to find. Uh, that puts him at 10 already. Uh, gonna have enough supers to deal with uh, the early bosses, no problem. Um, we're looking for ideally charge or 30 supers for Ridley, or charge or 60 supers for the brain. So, we have 10 this early. Not a bad thing. We have missiles left and morph ball. So, so far, a pretty missile heavy seed. And it looks like we're going to have some meme routing by Tillamorph. Very nice. We have uh, more supers and green Brin on the way down to uh, Red Tower, so. Plenty of supers so far, very ammo-friendly seed. Hopefully we find more power bombs, so Ice Beam becomes less of a concern. 
and with an E tank, it bombed Chorizo. Charge Beam being our first reserve tank feels bad, man. Terminator has an E tank, so looking like a pretty healthy seed so far. Hellrun is probably on the horizon. I guess the biggest troll right now would be very uh, in an easy to reach location. Checking Spose, Spose Super Sertillomorph now. Finds Power Bombs. Not a bad thing to have at this point. Only having one left, uh, there was a high risk of uh, potential soft lock, but now having six out of ten doesn't have to worry about that. Star Reserve, another E tank, and uh, we have Tillamorph now also heading into Wavegate. We'll see if that's holding anything of value. Got to be very careful with only 37 energy if he bonks that big side hopper on the way out, he dies. Having some trouble with Wavegate and out of supers, unfortunate. We have missiles at the early supers, so now MST with a count of 15, 10, and 5 compared to Telemorph's 20, 10, and 10. Uh, we'll see what other minor locations wind up getting checked by MST, but he seems to be putting an onus on majors as I would this early in the seed. And another E tank, this one vanilla down by Eticoons. Very, very healthy seed. So one more heading over to the first portion of Green Bryn. Uh, so looks like it's probably going to want to swing him back up and take care of the criteria cleanup. Uh, if that's the case, we'll put him in a very good position for um, Gauntlet Check. Had a little bit of a high five from our runners there. MST leaving the Eticoon area, Tillamorph diving in. MST saying no to the reserve tank. Very interesting. I would think this early on, even with five tanks, a reserve would not be a bad thing to pick up. Um, but there isn't much need for it at this juncture, so I can understand that play. MST with the most interesting setup I've ever seen for Wavegate, and gets it. 
finding Spazer for his trouble. That was a treat to watch. Not gonna lie, I have never seen that before. And uh, I mean, this early on, people say, oh man, a sweet trick, but all you get is Spazer. Spazer saves lives this early on. You got no beams, it's extra damage, makes a lot of areas easier to traverse. It's a good point, Elm, with uh, Tilly not being able to get that wave gate. Um, they didn't pick up Spazer, fortunately not a required item. However, uh, I have to wonder if that location is going to wind up eating away at Tillamorph and if we'll see a recheck later on. Looks like we're going to get a peek at the ammo drops for Gauntlet. MST is heading down, looking to take care of Kraid and uh, Norfair before heading up. I'm going to check Spazer now. Another reserve tank. I'm going to say no to that one as well. As uh, Tillamorph collects his Terminator E tank. Tillamorph now heading down to check Bob Tree. Is so going to get his fifth energy tank? I must see opting to head down before handling created an interesting play. Hopefully, MST does not forget to kill Kraid later. some supers above high jump uh, looks like we'll probably see them get picked up uh, MSC getting another energy tank at high jump boots bringing the total to six and we see Tillamorph refilling with the ship probably going to see a save and a gauntlet check Oh no, no, just heading straight to the ship. Interesting. Uh, probably going to head actually down to Red Tower without having uh, Spring Ball, Bombs, or Space Jump. But, oh, I stand corrected. So we're going to have to rely on CWJ here. Unfortunately, overshooting the missiles. And Tillamorph getting that CWJ without much trouble at all. A beautiful showing. So, Tillamorph on their way now to wrecked ship. You know, MST leaving Norfair. Looks like he's gonna make the play on Kraid now, not finding a suit at high. And so, this is where we'll really see which way is the right way. Sometimes they both wind up being the right way, but uh, in most seeds it feels like either going up or down, um, one side pays off and the other side doesn't. See now heading into Kraid. Let's have to deal with the eye door. Tillamorph, meanwhile, 
deep inside wreck ship. Plenty of energy, plenty of ammunition. Uh, this is uh, going to be a much safer new route style fight, having no beams and no suits. But uh, Tillamorph, a good runner, shouldn't have too much trouble. You know what? We get to see. Will Craig stand up for MST? And he does not. Uh, excellently done with a quick kill there by MST. And we get to see what Craig was hiding. X-ray scope. MST thinking about it and often collect. Quickly, uh, so it's one more not losing too much time, not being able to get the missile in early. Doppler falls a little bit short, but uh, still damage is damage. Um, the speed of the fight is less important than the survival of the fight in most cases. And that is our third reserve tank, a Kraid E tank. So, Kraid not really having any progression, um, unless various suit is in ship. It looks like Forest Hell runs. Pretty exciting to see. Uh, yes, Lexi, but can MST see why MST or my children love Cinnamon Toast Crunch? Dang it, that could have been so funny. Fantoon going down for Tillamorph, uh, so we are now one boss to one. Very nice to see. Meanwhile, we're getting the Ice Beam location check from MST. And Speed Booster, that is a nice find at Ice Beam. Unfortunately, that does mean that if there winds up being a good item at Wrecked Ship Reserve, Tillamorph will have to come back if they want it. And High Jump Boots in the ship, very nice. That, uh is definitely very helpful for a lot of movement tech in the game. Uh, we have MST actually heading down. Looks like we're going to see a croc play with speed booster. Not a bad decision. Uh, looking to find a little more health here. Unfortunately, taking a couple bops from that Deskiga. Uh, it's going to be a little risky. MST agreeing that it's a little risky. Having second thoughts about committing to that route. Ooh, no, committing to it anyway. This, this is up in the air right now, unfortunately. Going to get a look at what's a wrecked ship E tank as MST fights Croc. And Spring Ball at Wrecked Ship E tank. So, a lot of movement items so far in Wrecked Ship. Uh, enough, actually, that I'd say that it was a stacked ship. I, I like what I've seen so far. However, going to be very, uh, very curious to see what rests at gravity and at the reserve location in the ship.
Oh no, it's feeling worth taking a death. Unfortunately, going to need to go back and handle Fantoon again. Uh, which means we're going to need CWJ again. It's a pretty big setback for Telemorph. Uh, not insurmountable, depending on what else remains in the wrecked ship. But uh, this is not a situation that any runner wants to find themselves in. Another E-Tank at Grackle. Uh, MSD going to be happy to take that, I think. It does give him seven E-Tanks, which puts him in range for stand-up glitch. Will not need to pick up any more. Uh, however, with more Hell Runs on the horizon, saves a little bit of time on refills, gives a little more of a safe window. So, a good pickup. And an E tank at Croc. Uh, so, very, very, very healthy seed. Um, however, despite only finding speed booster and energy tanks down in Norfair so far, still wind up might be the uh, best play here, given that we don't know what rests at Rex Ship Reserve. That's an excellent point, Elm. Uh, if Tillamorph opts to skip out on Spring Ball, it could be required. Um, Spring Ball jumps in the logic. So we'll see if he opts to gamble on that or if we at least see a save before Spike Hero of Death. Tillamorph making it through the moat. Falling into the ocean, taking a quick refreshing swim before heading back up into wrecked ship. I agree with that. A little R and R, very important for the bounty hunter and all of us. MST struggling a little bit with Bubble Mountain. Uh, high jump boots would definitely help here. Unfortunately, we know that they are at the ship. Uh, MST now opting, it looks like, to leave Norfair. Not at all satisfied with high jumpless Bubble Mountain. So it looks like we'll see a play on wreck ship shortly. As Tillamorph steps into their Fantoon fight for the second time. Should go much like the first. Plenty of health, plenty of ammo. Um, basically a much safer Irat Plus fight. So...
Dynasty climbing up Red Tower here. Gonna power bomb the Rippers. Doesn't want to deal with them. I don't blame them. Makes the climb up pretty easy. Meanwhile, fans are taking this jolly long time. Being a jerk, just like we know the Alpha goes to be. But a fast reappearance. Uh, nice to see. Super in time, uh, so we are on for another round of Fantoon, and he goes down. Uh, good fight by Tullamorph, uh, making the best of it with what's currently in their possession. Uh, with five tanks and your only majors being Morph Ball and a reserve, it's not bad. have MST now shine sparking across the moat. Uh, much easier to traverse with speed booster. Doesn't have to rely on CWJ. So nice to see he's able to get through there without any issue. Meanwhile, Tillamorph going to recollect his high jump boots. Telemorph heading to the save room before Spike here of death this time. I agree with this decision. Going to save. And now we'll see if Telemorph heads uh, back to recollect Spring Ball or if they leave it behind. MST starting his Fantoon fight. We'll see how it goes. Doing very well with that spike here in death uh, on Telemorph's screen. Uh, Fantoon being a bit of a troll for MST, though. Recollecting Spring Ball. Telemorph. MST unfortunately taking quite a few licks from Fantoon, but still in all right shape. Still has more health than a new route runner would have. Oh, and MST missing that super. How unfortunate. Heading back through Spiky Remove Death now. Uh oh, Tillamorph trying to use Spring Ball. Uh, takes a couple hits on the spikes, better than those spiky platforms. And he's out. Whew. That was just a little bit of clench. And Fantoon goes down for MST. Saving after grabbing Spring Ball so he doesn't have to do Spiker him a death a third time. I like that play by Tillamorph. It's uh, a handful of seconds lost, but uh, compared to the amount of time he lost from his death, um, I'd say that's acceptable. MST going to find their high jump boots and probably be very happy. 
Also, with MSC having speed booster, uh, knowing that everything in ship will be attainable, does not have to worry about potentially coming back for what's at the reserve. Speaking of, we're going to get a check, and we will see. And it is various suits. Oh man, poor Tillamorph. That is rough. Gonna have to come back after finding their speed booster at Ice Beam. Just... It always hurts to have to go all the way back to the top of Rex ship because it's such a time loss. Uh, this does put Metroid in a very, uh, or MST rather, in a very favorable position. But Various Suit being there reaffirming that this is a very stacked ship. MST saving uh, before heading over to Spike Room of Death. Gonna have to be very careful. Even touching spikes on the platforms will kill him. And he can only afford to get bodied twice by the non-platform spikes. Tillamorph going bowling. MST taking a dip, unfortunately, but saw that Spring Ball was there. Um, we'll be able to make another attempt if he so chooses. Gravity, we have vanilla gravity, both suits in wrecked ship with high jump and spring ball. I have never seen such a loaded wrecked ship in all of my days. So, MST, uh, as it turns out, with the god routing going to essentially be in go mode as term in terms of movements here as soon as he collects his two suits. Meanwhile, Tillamorph unfortunately going to have to search all over for that speed booster and then come back up to collect Varia. Kind of curious, uh, Tillamorph knowing that, uh, Gauntlet remains unchecked as well. Uh, not going to check it. Instead, heading down. I would think leaving ship, that would be the opportune time, but uh, probably betting on nothing valuable being there, knowing that Varia being in ship. being incredibly careful here bearing in mind the low energy situation uh, good to see that level of uh, awareness it would be unfortunate to take a death even with a recent save Uh, making the spacer check. We'll also be checking probably items in Kraid before heading down to Norfair. Um, not going to find, unfortunately, what they're looking for until we see that ice beam check in Norfair. But uh, still doing all right, making decent time. Uh, knowing exactly where Varia is, um, he'll be able to 
uh, pick that up essentially at his leisure. I almost think that with the, the energy situation, it would be better to handle uh, potential hell runs and then clean up Meridia, take care of the boss, and head up to uh, wrecked ship that way to recollect Varia, but I'm not entirely sure if that's optimal. That's just a route that a noob like me would take. Okay, and some swaggy spring ball strats moving through the bowling room very quickly. That was a treat to see. Yeah, that uh, actually marks two strategies from MST today that I have never seen before. And Kraid will not be standing up today. Tillamorph also executing the quick kill, doing very well. Tillamorph opting to pick up their x-ray. Uh, not a bad thing to grab, knowing that uh, Batwoon and Dragon are still on the table. Might find charge before then, might find plasma before then. Uh, also, a nice safety in the event of an accidental soft lock at standard glitch. So, it definitely has its uses, although those uses are dwindling the more major locations we see. MST grabbing his various suit. I'm going to find gravity right behind it. Still more saying no. I don't need a third reserve tank uh, with that energy total and uh, at least the partial protection of gravity suit. I would say that that's a good call. MST thought about it for a second. Looks like we're going to see a uh, ship refill instead. Probably a check on Gauntlet, however, unless it's bombs or screw attack, MST probably won't be able to make it out uh, unless they clear out the entrance, open the door, and then shine spark through. I believe that is also a possibility here. Silomorph so making the play on Ice Beam. Uh, we'll find Speed Booster and be curious to see where Tillamorph goes from here. Uh, again, with the knowledge of Varia in Wrecked Ship, I'm probably going to feel very behind. Check high jump location. Uh, Tillamorph, unfortunately, not going to find anything of value. Uh, but you don't want to leave any major behind when you're still looking for charge or really any of your beams because Tillamorph is beamless, does not know that Spacer is behind Wavegate. So we will see where the routing takes. And meanwhile, uh, MST now heading through Brinstar after taking that ship refill. Uh, gonna see a waterway check, it looks like. Uh, 
MST's routing has certainly been very confusing today, uh, but it's been an absolute joy. And so far, his gambles have all paid off. And once again, they do finding space jump at the waterway. That is going to make traversing the rest of the game a lot easier. MST opting to pick up missiles, probably deciding at this point, I haven't seen charge, I don't know if I want to full clear Meridia for it, uh, probably in anticipation for that, or at the very least to help out with an incoming Ridley fight, since there's not enough ammo for that yet either. Well, we do have Tillamorph in Meridia, uh, we're going to get a Mama Turtle check, we'll see what rests here. Just an E-Tank. Uh, Telemorph is going to pick it up. That gives him seven. And we're going to get the X-Ray check on MST's side. Savage Elm. Savage. <laughs> Finding just an E-Tank uh, at X-Ray. Going to say nope. So Telemorph now heading back up to Rex's ship, going to collect his various suit. MST looks like we're going to see the plan lower Norfair first. I agree with that. Probably also going to clear out Bubble Mountain on his way back. Um, so we should have knowledge on those checks momentarily. Atomic's not playing nice for Tillamorph, uh, opting to just explode them into nothingness with his super missiles. MST back in Norfair now. Looks like we're actually going to see... What are we going to see? We are going to see some Bubble Mountain before the lower Norfair play. Uh, not having quite enough ammo and not having any beam besides Spazer, I think that this is a reasonable check, uh, especially considering MST's knowledge of the locations of E-Tanks and Reserve Tanks thus far. Tillamorph also collecting more ammo prior to obtaining their various suit. And Norfair Reserve is Ice Beams. So that's very nice to have. And more power bombs as well. Uh, however, with Ice Beam now and Spring Ball, only going to need that five pack that he started with. So, too little, too late, I guess. And with Ice Beam in hand, not going to make the other Bubble Mountain checks. Interesting. Tillamorph realizing a potential soft lock here. Going to have to be very careful with the powerbomb placement.
and Tillamorph leaving wrecked ship without Varia on account of low power bombs. That that hurts. That hurts a little bit. Uh, looks like he's going to want to try and farm one up. I think it would just be faster to hit the ship and refill. And it looks like that's going to be the play. Unfortunately, this just extends MST's lead. MST uh, going for the green gate glitch here. Takes a few tries, but he gets it. Going to see what is behind our golden Terizo for today. And we have bombs, which MST is going to pick up. I agree with that. Um, not really useful at this juncture, aside from preventing a soft block in Lower Norfair due to bomb or power bomb consumption, I should say. Um, also going to be useful if he does get grabbed by Metroids, we'll be able to knock them loose with the bombs instead of having to power bomb them to death in the event of a grab. So nice to see. MST using even more strats I'm not used to seeing. Um, handling Amphitheater very well, actually. I don't know what the occasion is, but that's three new pieces of tech that I've never seen before, and I'm just I'm having a ball. Oh my, Powerbomb a shame check, and we have more supers. Uh, MST, happy to find that. Gives him 30, the ideal number to deal with Ridley. Um, so we'll just take 30 super missiles to defeat Ridley. However, if one is missed, because Ridley does take damage or double damage from super missiles, uh, will require 6 missiles to compensate. Uh, so that, that ammo count, definitely a lot friendlier for MST uh, with that super tank than without. And Tillamorph now, finally, after the third time bowling, going to be able to get their various suits. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if they opt to take care of Meridia or Norfair first. MST now taking care of the refill, Tillamorph leaving wrecked ship for the hopefully final time. Still no interest from our runners to check Gauntlet. Uh, probably just assuming it's one location. Uh, they can live without whatever's there. 
Um, however, I still think that I would check it, given that there's been no charge beam sighting as of yet. Unfortunately, despite MSD having Spazer Beam, without charge, we will not be able to see Ridley take a golden shower today. Very unfortunate. And Tillamorph recommitting to Meridia. Um, given the movement available, I don't argue with this decision. Uh, however, I do believe that optimal routing would handle lower Norfare first. So that way you don't have to go back down and then head back up on the way to G4. Still, with Gravity Suit and Speed Booster, able to get through just about every location here in Meridia. Uh, without Grapple Beam or Ice Beam, though, we'll not be able to visit uh, Shaq Oh man, Ridley being very, very aggressive here. One might say that he is hopping mad, uh, but the fight does end. MST is the victor. And we have our final reserve tank behind Ridley. The final screw you to MST as far as this seed is concerned. Tillamorph heading towards Batuun. Going to have to be careful. Uh, Batuun being uh, very fast. This hitbox being very, very unreliable at times. Uh, should Tillamorph uh, wind up out of ammunition without charge beam, this will be a soft lock. Um, And Batuun goes down for Tillamorph, 38 missiles to spare, uh, leaving the room with two supers, so not terrible. Um, if Charge Beam was in possession, would be able to deal with boss uh, Bot uh, Dragon. Finding another energy tank at Fireflees and Wave Beam after Batuun. <laughs> See, often grab ammunition on the way out of uh, Lower Norfair. Uh, given the charge beam hasn't been found yet, this is the right call. Um, but we are also running out of major locations to check. Finding uh, more supers at Franker Z missiles, so. Uh, that count now goes to 35. Needs five more super packs to deal with Mother Brain. Um, we'll likely find charge before then, unless it's behind Shack Tool or possibly Sand Pit.
So we're getting the wave and speed checks on MST's side as Tillamorph is going to head down and do battle with Dragon, finding more supers uh, on the wall before Dragon and charge at Wave Beam. Uh, that does officially put MST in go mode, but given the beam combination, I don't know if he's going to look for Plasma or not. Uh, we'll find Wave at Batuun, we'll probably pick up Wave at Batuun. MST saying, I don't need to check any more locations, not going to bother with the speed booster check. Just heading out of Norfair, going to uh, clean up Batu and Dragon, and then head to G4. Meanwhile, Tillamorph wrapping up there. Dragon fight here, uh, just pumping missiles and supers into Dragon, not having charge, not having grapple, um, and opting not to use speed booster strats, it looks like. And Dragon goes down. Just an E tank behind Dragon. Uh, so I'm going to pick it up anyway. Not a bad call. Uh, hoping, obviously, for a beam of some sort there. Or possibly even screw attack to help traverse lower Norfair. Uh, but the interest just wasn't there. Also interesting, MST checking Mama Turtle, but not checking Speed Booster. Also checking for more ammo despite having charge. Silomorph making use of the blue cac attacks here in Cac Attack Alley. Gonna get uh, some supers on their way out to make that plasma check. MST doing battle with Batuun, not going to have to worry about a soft lock here with charge beam in hand. Meanwhile, Tillamorph is making that plasma check. Uh, we will see what lies there. We're basically at this point just looking for a plasma beam. Uh, we haven't seen screw attack either, and I believe we haven't seen either two or three energy tanks. So, ooh, Tillamorph turning around, opting not to check plasma realizing uh, that the only way you can deal with those pirates is with Speed Booster. Silomorph going for a dip in some sand. Really good for exfoliation. And MST getting their Wave Beam. So they will be in a position uh, very similar to a uh, new route, but with significantly more health and ammunition uh, for battling Mother Brain. Uh, so 60 charge shots, that's going to be a reasonable time. I don't see MST bothering to check any more major items, but he's proven me wrong numerous times so far, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah. <laughs> 
had the briefest of high fives. This MST is making its way to Dragon. MST collecting even more supers. Um, as far as damage over time is concerned, the supers are um, faster as opposed to charging up a beam, especially when you don't have plasma. Um, so it will make the fight a little faster, a little safer. I'm going to have plenty of ammo to get Mother Brain either close to the catch up phase. We have a Sandpit Shack and it is Grapple Beam. Okay, so I'm picking up Grapple Beam. Interesting. And grabbing more supers as well. Uh, not having a charge, I do not blame that uh, at all. I would want more ammunition too. But yeah, that find of uh, Grapple Beam is going to send Tillamorph straight to Shack Tool, so that's an excellent point by uh, uh, Tatori there. And MST getting his blue suit, cleaning up Dragon. Looks like he's going to nope right on out of there. Space jump. I don't know, he's just going to taunt the corpse of the poor mother who is defending her children before checking the item behind. And wow, we aren't seeing Shaktul. Well, that, that surprises me just a little bit. Tillamorph with the surprise plays as well. MST getting reverse happy. And yeah, chat, I believe those are the only locations we have not seen at this point. MST heading out of Meridia at this point, and we are getting a speed booster location check. Uh, so Tillamorph is going to find here another energy tank. So MST missing literally nothing on that gamble. Um, paying off actually really well. Uh, Tillamorph going to presumably find charge beam very shortly. Grabbing some extra power bombs, uh, that puts him at 15. Uh, without ice in the inventory, I don't blame that call either. Probably not thinking it's going to be found, or that it might be behind Shack Tool or some other location that uh, he doesn't feel like checking. MST, looks like we're going to see a refill of the ship. Uh, will he save? And yes, he does. So worth getting their charge. I do kind of, uh, do kind of expect Telemorph to keep checking Majors until he finds either Spazer or Plasma. Uh, Telemorph has not checked Wavegate, has not checked um, Waterway. So there's a couple of checks for him waiting in Big Pink. Gotta see if he'll go back for that. I don't think so. With that ammo count, uh, Charge, Ice, Wave, 
will not be too long of a fight. Hey, let's not joke about X-Factoring Mother Brain. Uh, MST's done enough strange stuff today, I wouldn't be surprised if I saw it. Misty getting grabbed by a Metroid, but, uh, getting it off without too much trouble. Telemorph getting their Ice Beam. taking some intentional damage here. Looks like we're going for a baby skip skip. Better to have a uh, controlled time loss if you're not comfortable making this maneuver. Uh, but it looks like he was going for it and taking a grab anyway for his troubles. A valiant effort MST. Facing right. Uh, unfortunately, only cowards look behind them. But uh, that's okay. That's okay. He's going to save those 40 frames. So he'll be moving a little bit faster. Uh, Spazer was Wavegate. Chad Rain. Still more opting to use a... Uh, Gravity jump, it looks like. Unless I missed something. I was so focused on MST going for that baby skip. Uh, heading down into Lore and Orfair now. Uh, we'll wrap up Ridley. Um, having their charge beam, but not a plasma or spacer to really bring the damage up. Uh, we'll probably just rely on super missiles for that fight. Uh, as MST is going to go for what appears to be a speed zeb skip. Not pan out, going for regular Zeb skip with the Ice Beam. Uh, gets through, no problem, on to Mother Brain 1. Meanwhile, Tillamorph going for the Green Gate glitch, going to check the item behind GT. opting out of the GT check. Uh, having gone through that much ammunition in time, I don't blame him. Unfortunately, does not get fast pillars. Has to use power bombs to take him down. Uh, unfortunately, this is a time loss, and there's the damage being taken as well. Um, plenty of health, so that's less of a concern, but still um, not ideal. MST already in the catch-up phase, pumping in the last of his supers of Mother Brain 2. Plenty of health, he can afford to take a hit or two. Uh, bomb getting in the set of that catch-up there, uh, so a fortunate hit. And he is going to go for stand-up. Uh, without Plasma, stand-up loses a lot of its, uh, a lot of its potency. But the damage does add up, even if it is just from Ice Wave Spazer shots, so...
So MST had their space jump for amphitheater. Unfortunately, Tillamorph did not. Has to fall all the way down and then slowly make their climb, taking care to avoid the pirates to the best of their ability. Uh, Tillamorph does need to be careful, sitting at just over three E tanks plus what's in reserves. Uh, a lot of the enemies here will hit you for a minimum of 50 damage. And it looks like Tillamorph's going to make the play on Fire Flea. Probably hoping for Plasma or an E-Tank. Gets his E-Tank, gonna be at full health, a much better situation to be in heading down to Ridley. Stand up appears to be going swimmingly for MST. Oh no, the baby, it died. What a surprise. Fortunately, uh, Tillamorph not having a efficient way to deal with those key hunters or not having plasma either to clip through them while their iframes are active. Uh, getting bodied. Uh, again, 50 damage a hit from them, so it does hurt. Uh, MST cleaning up Mother Brain 3. All that remains is the escape. Uh, we will see whether or not the animals get saved. But uh, considering that we haven't seen a dot done yet from either player, I would have to imagine that it will be skipped. Ridley probably going to refill, making excellent use of that grapple beam, uh, definitely speeds along the farming time. Unfortunately MST not quite landing the uh, behemoth spark there, going to instead just spark up right side, uh, good backup, uh, nice work on the charge down there, I always struggle with that. Not saving the animals, the objectively right decision, everything dies except for our beloved bounty hunter. And with that, MST has won this matchup, uh, if I'm looking at this right, a time of 113.44. So please bust out your GG's for Metroid MST, the winner of today's race. A uh, interesting journey to say the least uh, a lot of tech that i've never seen before um made uh the right routing decisions um whether through frustration or by design it definitely worked out for mst today let's see if i can get them in here for an interview efficient DPS at that juncture. Uh, getting grabbed, not quite enough damage to finish him off, so we are going to see some charge shots on Ridley. Unfortunately, Tillamorph getting bodied, uh, really not giving us a very favorable pattern here.
And with that, Ridley goes down. Solomorph will be on their way to G4 to wrap up the game. Unfortunately, uh, not getting an answer from MST just yet. Um, if he does wind up being down for an interview, I'll be happy to get him in here. But uh, as it stands right now, it's looking like we will not have one. So it looks like we're getting ready for another race to start off at 11.30 here between uh, J Chalk and Elminster, RTA. So that should be a very, very hype race. I'm being an incredible racer. Um, I have to imagine with the four-way setup, we will have Tillamorph uh, back online here shortly to see the conclusion of their race. And yeah, yeah, I was looking for the location of that plasma beam too, and it cut off just before I could see it. Feels bad, man. Uh, so chat, chat, how has the race been today so far? Have you been enjoying yourselves? I'm hoping that everyone has, uh, because the next race is also going to be a banger. We're going to see... Amazing showing from two pretty good runners. Elm actually being an excellent runner, I, I should clarify. Uh, J Chalk, not quite as well versed with Super Metroid, but a good runner in his own right, and currently three and one in the Randomizer League. So, uh, this will be a great race to watch. Jay, get out of here, you cheater. I see you in chat. I'm watching. Tillamorph now heading out of Norfair, going to make their way to the G4 and take care of their mother brain. Good luck, Jay. Uh, looking forward to a fun race from you. Silomorph now making their way out through Meridia. Going to be at the top of Red Tower very shortly. Um, oh, Kojak on that super there. Looks like there was an attempt on the fish's life. I know a couple people who would be incensed by that.
Solomorph going to refill the ship. Definitely the right call with that energy and ammo count. Uh, not going to have too much to fear heading down into Toran. Um, will he take the save here, though? Looks like there's some thinking about it. And yes, the save is taken. So Solomorph probably will not be taking any saves in Torian unless they're feeling particularly nervous about their mother brain fight. Uh, we're seeing more ammo checks. Right, right. Uh, Tilmorph would either want more supers at this point, or would like to find... Oh, looks like we're going for the... Shine Spark through Gauntlet. Okay. Very interesting by Tilmorph here. Um, there's kind of an audio cue that you, that'll tell you when you've got that shot in the door. Um, positioning, I can't quite remember the specifics on but uh, he is getting reasonably close with each of these shots. And it looks like Tomorph's got it, going for the Shine Spark. Ah, hits the door. Or a rock. I'm sorry, I had the left portion of the screen blocked by chat. Look at me being an utter disappointment to everybody here. I am so sorry. But we are finally getting that gauntlet check, so we will have an idea as to whether or not an early gauntlet would have been beneficial to our runners. just screw attack. However, that does mean that if anybody had entered with five power bombs, they would have been able to escape. So it would not be a soft lock checking gauntlet. Always nice to see. Unfortunately, this late in the race, most of its applications are already used. Um, so not 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 what uh, Tillamorph was looking for. Definitely hoping for a spacer or plasma there. Uh, still rewarded with some supers for their uh, trouble. That will help speed along Mother Brain too. Echnister? Is that what I saw? Come on. Solomorph getting grabbed and gobbled by some Metroids, uh, unfortunately needing to rely on power bombs to take care of them at this juncture. So until we're finally wrapping up with Metroids, going to head down now. Uh, they have Wave Beam, they have High Jump, we may see a Baby Skip attempt. 
Uh, I'm not sure how comfortable Telemorph is with um, that technique, not having a wider beam like Spazer or Plasma. Nabbed by the baby, facing right, only uh, going to lose time, minus 40 frames for that right face. So, you know, you never really want to get grabbed if you can help it. Uh, I did not see, unfortunately, if that was by design. I was cleaning up the tracker. Um, but, uh, you know, refill room right here. Not really too concerned about going fast at this point, just want to finish out the seed, uh, knowing that your opponent has emerged victorious. So Tillamorph having a little bit of trouble with the Zeb skip here, going for another attempt at it, and makes it through. Good to see. It's always frustrating when uh, a trick like that winds up getting in your way. Uh, the runners definitely don't want to deal with that, and uh, depending on the level of troll that it presents, sometimes the runners don't want it, or the uh, watchers, viewers, commentators, trackers, don't want to see that either. And Mother Brain 1 is taken care of. Moving on to Mother Brain 2. Uh, Tillamorph still having 40 supers, so that's good. We're going to pump in uh, a series of charge shots here. Um, I do not know, unfortunately, how many shots of Ice Wave uh, charge is required to deal with Mother Brain 2. Supers, we've pushed into the catch-up phase. Just got to be careful not to take too many hits. Uh, Tolomorph is still in a good place health-wise. Uh, we'll see with just having Charge Ice Wave if uh, stand-up is an option. And we clear out, damaging himself down to avoid stand-up. Okay, that, that clears that up. A beautiful Mother Brain too. Uh, all things considered uh, with the items in Tolomorph's possession.
So now we just wait for Mother Brain to get up and uh, once again, we're the baby. So it's okay, it's okay. I think Mother Brain is just overzealous here, wanting to make sure that everybody's well fed. It sees that the Metroid is feeding on Samus. Mother Brain is just like, no, 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 I've got onion rings. Eat your onion rings. Unfortunately, the baby did not want onion rings. Moving into Mother Brain 3, uh, I recently found out 36 uh, hyperbeam shots will clear this up. Um, if your positioning is right and you can time your jumps appropriately, you can get away with this fight by completely just stun locking Mother Brain 3. Um, with this much health, it's, it's easy to say it's a free fight, but I have seen aggressive uh, Phase 3s in the past that wound up taking people down to one tank or less. Uh, when they had uh, enough for stand-up, so it's always pretty interesting to see uh, whether the game's going to mess with you one final time. And Solomorph begins their escape. Uh, I do want to apologize in advance uh, with another race starting up. Uh, I don't believe that I will have an opportunity to adequately uh, interview Tillamorph. Um, I will get confirmation on that though. And Tillamorph wrapping up. Uh, well done, Tillamorph, on finishing up that seed. Everybody throw up your GGs for Tillamorph. Uh, meanwhile, Elminster making their climb up Ganon's Tower. Uh, so we'll see how this plays out. Uh, meanwhile, J-Chalk dealing with a black screen. Um, looks like maybe they took an unfortunate death somewhere. Uh, it looks like Elm does have Varia, Gravity, I'm seeing Plasma, so Ganon should go down pretty quickly. Okay, okay, I do now see Jay Chalk. Uh, looks like he's playing the practice ROM. He knows that he can't complete the seed on a practice ROM, right? Elminster making excellent use of that plasma, uh, using X-ray strats to take down three Batuans at once. Beautiful fight as he climbs the tower.
beautiful X factor on those wizard robes. Seeing some excellent usage of speed booster on Elm screen. And Plasma Beam was behind Shack Tool, so uh, what a troll there. Looks like that Grapple Beam would have uh, led right where Tillamorph wanted it to, but who wants to gamble on Shack Tool, really? Oh no, J Chalk taking a death after illegally fast forwarding his practice ROM. Uh, this race just got a lot tighter. Okay, so now Jay has the, the uh, actual ROM loaded up. And hello, Tillamorph. Hey, uh, hello. good race, man. Uh, looks like there was uh, some trolling there going on with the locations. It was really looking like Wrecked Ship first was going to be the play. Um, but that very behind speed was just killer. Uh, what are your thoughts on the seed? Um, I think I made the right choice going wrecked ship first, and then I just got killed in the spiky room of death without saving. That set me back quite a bit. Yeah, that was uh, unfortunately very rough to watch. Um, never want to see anybody die in that spiky room, but especially without a save. Um, you were relying on CWJ to get across the moat. It was good to see you get that without too much trouble. Um, but yeah, no, I think I agree with you. Ship was a, a good first play um, up until at least that very location. But then you had the knowledge of Varia, so it wasn't even a bad location, you know? Yeah, definitely. And I had been practicing the CWJ last night, so... I figured if I got power power bombs early, I was going to go meme root and just try it out. So it worked out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it was uh, it was working out really well. Um, again, that untimely death set you back a bit, but otherwise your routing was pretty on point. Um, you didn't make uh, the bubble mountain checks until after you had speed and went back and got Varia, which was a good call, I think. But uh, that lack of charge beam... Um, Pay, played more of a role for MST than it did for you. Uh, you actually checked it before heading down to Lower Norfair, but MST, um, they bailed on Bubble Mountain at first after getting speed. Uh, they couldn't get up with that high jump, ran up to ship, uh, got all their suits in ship, and then went back down. So um, it just wound up working out better for him, but he didn't check that uh, wave beam location until after clearing out lower norfair so you did have that advantage heading down oh, that's interesting yeah i i pretty much guessed he would have gone down just because of that's normal i guess <laughs> yeah yeah msd but had gone down down there it seemed good oh sorry sorry you're good I was just going to add that uh, MST did head down first. Um, it was kind of interesting to see how everything kind of came together because it's rare that you see somebody go down and then not commit to fully clearing out uh, Bubble Mountain, you know. Uh, but it wound up working out for him, uh, unfortunately for you. Uh, but it was an amazing race to watch. I had an absolute blast commentating it. Um, looks like we're getting ready to start off the match between Elm and Jay now. So do you have any final thoughts before I let you go? Um, not much. Just thanks for commentating. Yeah, I thought it was a fun seed. Good to pra uh, implement what I practiced. And thanks for yeah. the streams. And good luck to the next racers. <laughs> Absolutely. And uh, I didn't get a chance to mention this last race. Make sure that you follow Metroid MST. Make sure that you follow Tillamorph. Uh, two very fun runners to watch. That race is a treat. Uh, take it easy, Tillamorph. Thank you so much for running, and uh, see you next mission, bud.